Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Diablo 4 video. Well, the update is finally here. Update 1.04 that brings a ton of fixes and changes. Let's go over them. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into it. Links down below to the full patch notes as well. Let's get started with the very first section under bug fixes and gameplay. First off, they fixed the issue with the damage multiplier for the enhanced frozen orb wasn't applying correctly. They fixed the issue where enemies with the vortex FX would deal damage through immunity. They fixed the issue where the elixir of expertise was reducing resources cost by 10% instead of the display 20% value. They fixed the issue where the damage bonus from the Paragon Subdue Glyph would be applied to any target instead of only vulnerable targets. Fix the issue where the Barbarian's Whirlwind ability would briefly stop channeling when a cooldown skill was cast while using it. Fix the issue where the guaranteed overpower buff from the Barbarian's Earth Strikers aspect would be consumed upon gaining any other buff. Fix the issue where the player character would freeze when using the Rogue Shadow Step skill if used outside the range of your intended target. Fix the issue where the player could not rotate when casting the channel skill if using a one hand weapon with no offhand item equipped. Fix the issue where the cursed scrolls in Fields of Hatred had a lower cooldown than the displayed 5 minute cooldown. And fix the issue where aspects that dealt flat damage imprinted through the Codex of Power at scale with power level instead of item power. Fix the issue where the Necromancer's Shadow Mages weren't applying extra shadow damage through the Shadow Blight Key passive. And fix the issue where Cheese Death Effect would not trigger if you die while mounted. Next up, we have Quest and Dungeons. Fix the issue where a traversal wouldn't appear during the Blind Eyes quest blocking projection. We also have fixed the issue where the Mother's Judgment enemy would spawn before the player entered the encounter during the Whispers from the Past quest. Fix multiple issues where the quest progress would be blocked if the player used a town portal during specific sequences. Fix various other issues that prevented progress from multiple quests. Fix the issue where the Forgotten Death's dungeon had one fewer prisoner to release than intended. Fix the issue where teleporting to Wen Hanjai during the Witch of the Waste quest would force the player to drop the Veil of Quicksilver despite the time being an allowed area for the quest. Fix the issue where the Cultish Refuge, Howling Warren, and Lubin's Rest dungeons could be completed if the Butcher appeared and was not killed. Fix the issue where the Treasure Goblin was slain in a Nightmare Dungeon with the Death Pulse Fix would deal significantly more damage than intended when it's post-death explosion and fix the issue where the Mirage quest couldn't properly be completed. Next up, we have UI. Fix the issue where the QR code used for account linking on console was improperly sized which made scanning it difficult. Fix the issue where the imprint cost for legendary aspect would be incorrectly displayed. Fix the issue where the player on console would be unable to navigate the shop after using the buy more platinum button. Fix the issue where the upgrade glyph tab wouldn't close after moving away from the awakened glyph stone. Fix the issue where the skill unlocked by item contribution did not have an assigned skill button in its tooltip. Fix the issue where trading a partial stack while playing with a controller would display a full stack in the tooltip. And fix the issue where the weekly reward cache for defeating a world boss would display as available if there was an active whisper for defeating the boss, even when the cache had already been claimed previously. Next up we have miscellaneous. Under miscellaneous, fix the issue where NPC Arlo couldn't be interacted with, fix the issue where the Field of Hatred's killer cosmetic set was missing helmets for the druid, necromancer, and rogue, fix the issue where the cost of the sturdy saddle cosmetic from the stable vendor would scale with the player's character level, that's explain why it was so high, fix the issue where players could lure the seething abomination boss in the Alhuzila Field of Hatred zone to a location where they could damage it, but it couldn't damage them. Fix the issue where the mount cosmetic would not properly display if applied while actively mounted. Fix the issue where the camera would pan from the point of death back to the respawn point instead of instantly moving for players and local co-op. Fix the issue where the player and NPC would disappear during a dialogue sequence if the player was actively under the effect of a conduit shrine. Demonic Thickery strikes again. Various localized fixes and various other interfaces and accessibility improvements. Further stability, performance, and visual improvements across all platforms. And 
fix the issue where transmog on offhand items for sorcerers would reset upon performing any inventory action. And last but not least, for gameplay adjustments, Hell Tide Chess can now drop unique items, so get out there and hopefully you can get a little lucky, my dude. The bosses of Vernad, Brawl, and Kalhar have had their health pools and damage output reduced, and the cap for crafting materials have been increased from 999 to 9999. So, no more of those matches going to waste. So boom, there you have it, my dude. Brand new update is here, 1.04, and yes, changes a lot of things, no nerfs, which is a beautiful thing, and a whole bunch of fixes. And of course, we can now get those lovely uniques from Hell Tides, which is always a beautiful thing. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing, and welcome, don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game, a little wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.